What's going on people, it's your boy Theo, this is a real talk. So it's been confirmed in the last few minutes that Granite Shaka has been stripped of the captaincy. He is no longer captain of Arsenal Football Club. And ever since the the other day where he made the the outburst telling it like <sighs> I just can't believe what he done. I mean the outburst that he made when he was substituted um, the other day, it was it was it was horrible, you know, and it angered a lot of people. It left a sour taste in every single Arsenal fan, including me. I knew then that the damage was irreversible, you know, and finally. There has been resolution to this. It's a good move. Um, I, I know that Shaka would feel down about certain things. He knows that, you know, what he's done is bad. I know that us fans um, can be... I don't know. I don't know. Like, at the end of the day, it, criticism happens in football. And I know that us fans, when we criticise, we can go overboard sometimes. But we view our opinions now. It's uh, we, we all have a chance to have our say, you know, these days. And whether we agree with them or not, it's their opinion. It's how they feel. But as an Arsenal fan, together for 90 minutes, we're one. So, I think that it's a good move that it needed to be removed from Shaka, the captaincy. Um, I don't know what this will mean for his Arsenal career. Um, I do think that it's possible that he might might leave the club. Um, but it's a question of him saying, look, okay, this has happened to me now. How bad do I want to actually get myself back into the team and start playing again? You know, um, but it does, it does, at the very least, um, resolve one of the issues that's going on with the club. There's still a lot more to be addressed, um, but hopefully we can move forward now. So, and now we're going to do that by handing the captaincy to... Aubameyang, he is now our new club captain and um, to be honest, it's a good move it's, he should have probably been um, captain all along now this guy has scored 50, 50 goals for the club and you know something he's been a breath of fresh air since he's come here um, he's made a connection with the fans you know, people always said that, oh yeah, he's going to be like stroppy, he's going to have the diva-ish attitude and whatnot, you know, but he's been far from that, he's come in, he's understood what, what playing for the club means, he has um, taken responsibility, and the fact that he's actually got us into a position where we can still have a chance of actually getting ourselves into the top four, without him, I don't know where we would have been, probably be in the relegation zone, so... I want to extend my congratulations to Pierre Emic Abamian. Um, I hope that he be able to uh, to lead us to to better days, to better better games where we can win comfortably, knowing that you know we're fully behind him, taking over as leader. You know, um, I mean, if I'm honest, the captaincy should have gone to Lacazette. That's in my opinion. But going to Aubameyang, um, I think it's a good move because he does um, he, he does lead. I mean, look at what he's done. He's gave Lacazette the confidence when he gave him that penalty, knowing that he could have actually had a hat-trick himself. He's done the same thing for Pepe, you know. He's um, helped the likes of Guendouzi come through and try and get him to, to, to hang out with him and, and whatnot. You know, he understands... He understands. So now, let's move forward. Let's try and see what happens from here. 
Um, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the captaincy. Um, let me know uh, what you think should happen with Shaka. Um, leave it in the comments below. And I'll be back with another video very, very soon. I'm out. Peace.